Hey guys, just got some new flexible solar panels in the mail. So I'm going to do an unboxing and a test to see how they do. I did buy some 250 watt solar panels before and they only put out 80 watts each. And they were off eBay. These ones are off eBay too. These ones are 160 watts each. And I've picked these ones for the dimensions because I need them to fit in a certain area. They're about 1300 long by 550 wide. So I'll open them up and we'll have a look. They looked apart, I guess. Um, yeah, they've got the MC4 connectors. And... Yeah. They, uh, they came in two separate packages on, um, like, three days apart, which is a bit weird. Because they ordered them at the same time, so... I don't know what the go is with that. Yeah, looks alright. Let's go and give it a test out in the sun. I'm here in the sun, I'm going to test out the voltage open current. So you get your multimeter and you hook it up. You've got to be careful here because, I mean, there's power being generated, so you don't want to touch these leads. Positive to positive. So I'm getting 20.4, so that's fine. Now I'll hook them up to my uh, my solar charge controller and I'll see how many amps I'm getting. I have my solar set up with my four big AGM batteries for 420 amp hours at 12 volts. And this is my solar charge controller. So at the moment I've got it hooked up to my two 250 watt panels, so 500 watt panels. And it's a very sunny day in um, in winter in, in uh, Queensland and I'm only getting 68 watts. So they're not angled directly at the sun, so that would help a little bit, but there's no way they're 250 watt panels. I'd say they're probably 100 watt panels. And the dimensions for those ones are 1500 by 670. So um, I assume that any panels around that size would probably be more like 100, 100 watts, but I don't know. So now I'll unhook the um, 250 watt panels and then I'll hook up the new 160 watt panels and see how they go. 
Here we are up on top of the roof. Um, I've got my vent line fan there and then the inlet box. Um, and then there's all my wiring and I've just used this to turn a bond stuff. This stuff is uh, amazing stuff for um, putting your solar panels, sticking them to the roof. Um, I've had this up for 12 months and it's still perfect. No movement at all. And this is how hard it is to pull it off. There's no way that this would come off unless you were actually wanting it to. It's pretty good stuff. So I've got to connect it up now but I've got it disconnected down um, at the solar charge controller so I'll go and hook that up and we'll see what kind of reading we get. Alright, here's the moment of truth. So I'm getting 35 watts, 39. All right, I might just go up and uh, angle it towards the sun and see if I can get any more wattage out of that. All right, so they're angled directly at the sun now. And we're getting 44 watts. So a little bit more. From my experience, I think that solar panels put out about double... Um, in summer than they do in winter so I guess um, these could probably go up to about 90 to 100 watts in summer just a rough guess because my other ones they um, they put out half as much in winter than they do in summer so I get 80 watts each in summer and f about 38 watts in winter All right, so I've just gone and plugged in the other solar panel and we'll see how many watts we're getting. This is an angled at the sun, so I'm thinking 38 watts. 47, 49. That's not too bad. Well, better than the other one anyways. I think the sun might have a little more heat in it right now, so that's why it's more. So what are we at? 17 volts input and 3.9 amps. This is an MPPT um, charge controller too, just by the way, 30 amps. So I'm back in the workshop now and I think I'll be sending these back because they're not up to scratch. They're meant to be 160 watts each so that's 320 watts total but they're only putting out say I don't know 90 watts which might double in summer but that's still only 180 watts instead of 320 watts. So they're not, not really any good to me so I'll be returning them. Um, just a bit on safety, um, when, you, when you're when you trying to install these or test them, it's always a good idea to keep a cover over them so they're not generating any power until you're ready to actually do the test. And then when you put your um, test meter in there, you don't touch the, um, the metal prongs, but because uh, you can get a zap, a good zap. So, uh, yeah. Good idea to keep a cover over it and just got to be careful and turn your um, so solar charge controller off while you're um, plugging these in just so that you aren't getting any sparks or anything like that. So I'll be returning these and I think I'm just going to buy um, normal flat panels like household panels. I think I can get like a 250 watt panel for about 30 bucks um, but they're about... 1, point, 1 meter by 1.4, something like that. So they're pretty big um, panels, but that's all right. Um, I should have plenty of room on my new van build. 
So yeah, that's probably what I'll be doing. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of this kind of stuff, just subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next one.